This video is brought to you by JI Move. Maximize your earning with JI Move LC e bike and enjoy $100 off at jimove.sg. Today, we are looking into a deeper dive onto JI Move LC e bike, and at the end of the video, we find out if JI Move LC e bike can be transported into public buses, trains, and can it even fit into the back of the car. And let's review JI Move LC. JI Move LC uses high end components such as its body frame. It uses Aluminium 6061 coated with anti-rust premium paint. Aluminium 6061 is often used in aircraft components such as aircraft wings. JI Move LC uses 36 volt 9.9 .9 AH LG Leon battery. It is able to travel up to 60 km per full charge, estimating between 10 to 12 trips on gear 5. For full-time delivery riders, I would suggest to obtain a spare battery in order to double your earnings up to 20 to 24 trips and switching battery, it's quite effortless. Here's the bundle of keys that would be provided upon purchasing JI Move LC e-bike. All you need to do is to insert the key to unlock. And what this does is that it pushes the battery upwards. And finally, all you need to do is to remove the connector. Replace it with your spare battery. All it takes is just 10 seconds to switch and you're off to your next destination. For those of you wondering if you can charge the battery remotely, yes you can! JI Move LC e-bike uses 14-inch tubeless sports tires which is easy to maintain and it's more durable and puncture resistant. It uses this brake for front and rear and with the combination of its sports tires which has more surface to the ground, it allows an extremely responsive braking. Now, to fold the handlebar, remove the safety lock to enable the fold. Here's a pro tip for you guys, if you are deciding to transport GI Move LC e-bike using a car, you could fold the pedal so it rests flat and evenly and will not damage any areas of the e-bike. Now that you know the in-depth details of GI Move LC, it's time to enable the pedal assist. Press and hold the power button for 2 seconds, and for GI Move LC e-bike, you have the ability to choose the speed you wish to travel between gear 1 to gear 5 which is kept at 25 km per hour. To power on the front and rear lights simultaneously, press and hold the plus button for 2 seconds and you have your unique looking lights turned on. To find out what's the total distance that your e-bike has travelled since the time you have bought it, press the power button and it will show trip. Press it once more, it will show ODO. Both these indicators are the total distance travelled. Pressing the power button for the third time would show you the total time that you have been riding thus far, provided that you do not power off the control panel. The fourth and the fifth would allow you to view the average speed and the max speed that you have been travelling. Now, here's the part where you guys have been wanting to know, can JI Move LC e-bike be brought into public transport or fit into the boot of the car? Let's now find out! Okay guys, so now here's my plan. I'm gonna take a bus, bus 27 from just right in front. Okay, and we're just gonna take one stop to block 242. 242 is actually opposite Tampines MRT, the bus stop opposite Tampines MRT. And from there, we're gonna get a grab over to Simei, <laughs> over to Simei MRT, which is also one stop. Coming back, we're gonna take the train from Simei MRT to Tampines, right? So bus, train, and public, uh, and sorry, and car, and the boot of the car. See if you're able to put JI Move LC, okay, at the boot back, or back of the boot. Okay, so now all we need to do is just to spot bus 27. Is that the one behind? Okay, 
Okay, so now we have arrived at opposite uh, Tampines Station, MRT Station, and now we are walking to block 242. Okay, so now we're gonna find somewhere to sit and we're gonna get grabbed to fetch me from Tampines. MRT is just Tampines MRT is just nearby. I'm gonna take a grab from Tampines to see me MRT. That's what we are gonna do next. Okay, so I've ordered Gojek because Grab uh, for some reason Grab is more expensive at this timing. Okay, so what we are expecting is a Mazda 3. I hope today you are not gonna expect another 45 seater Mazda. Huh? Okay, so we are expecting a Mazda 3. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna call this guy, my driver, and I'm gonna check with him if Mazda 3 seat can be folded. Okay, the reason why I want to ask is because I actually have tried using GI Move to put it into some car boots and some of the car boots they if if their seat can't be folded to be honest I can't put GI move LC so I'm gonna check with my driver I'm gonna call my driver right now hello hello I just want to check with you because I have a small bicycle to put in a car boot can your rear seat be folded uh, what's the bike uh, it's actually what's a bike? So it's like my one is a small one. It's a hatchback. Maybe cannot cannot go in the bicycle. Ah, uh, okay. It's not a regular bicycle. It's actually the smaller version. Those type of small electric bicycle. Uh. Small one or not? Can your handlebar can be folded? Yes. Oh, they can try lah. Uh. You can try. I also it. know. I can go in. Okay, uh. but actually your rear seat can be folded, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then it shouldn't be a problem uh, if, it, if it's the rear seat can be folded and it's connected to the car boot. Okay. Yeah, we can try. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Mazda. And we're gonna try, see if we can put in a boot or not. Okay, but first, I'm remove the rear seat. Hello, your uh, your back seat can be folded, right? Okay, so I need you to fold the back seat first. Yeah, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I need you to fold the two back seat first. Oh, one more. One side is good. I okay, you can try. To go in. Should be able to go. Try. Oh, bicycle is that left for one? Yeah, yeah, alright. Okay. I'm gonna have to sit in front, can I? Sorry to trouble you. Uh. <laughs> okay, so we have arrived at Cine MRT. And as you saw, it, it actually requires two people to transport this Jamove LC into the, the boot of a car. Because it's actually, it's actually rather long, so you will need someone to go to the side side door to pull the wheels you know closer into the car 
but nonetheless we successfully did it okay so in terms of the length it is just nice i would say 400 millimeters just that the height needs to be folded down just that the handlebar needs to be folded down down the handlebar exits slightly like once it's folded down it shouldn't be a problem really yeah. see once it's folded down like this it'll be all good lah. but the, the issue is that once it's folded down it's hard for you to navigate inside lah. because once the handlebar is folded down you know you, you can't really adjust move left and right lah. Okay, so it actually depends on which train station. Some train stations they would close one eye uh, if you are pushing the e-bike like that. But if yeah, if you enter a train station that insists that your vehicle must be within the the requirements, uh, then no choice. Uh, you got to carry. Uh. Some of the train staffs, they actually are understanding. Once we fold this handlebar down, we will have difficulty navigating. So they will actually advise us to go to, to enter the first or last cabin. Which is what we are going to do right now. Eh. I'm going to enter the, the first cabin and head back to Tampines. Go one round. on when the handlebar is folded the handlebar would be slanted to the right side so it's really I mean it is possible to do this but it's quite difficult to navigate like. you know, it, it looks very clumsy or so uh. okay, not sure if I, you guys are able to see this what I'm doing is not the best looking so I'm just gonna Hold it back and push it this way. It's easier, easier and faster. So, uh, because if you were to hold the hand, if you were to fold the handlebar and push, it is very awkward, lah. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna be a considerate citizen. I'm gonna use the leaf. I mean, you should use the leaf, ah. Uh. Down the escalator, you never know. Eh? People take one photo, they say, or oh, they're on storm. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully transported GI Move LC into bus. Okay, although bus captain advised to fall, I think all bus captains were advised to fall, but the only way to fall is the handlebar. And of course, aside from the handlebar would be the uh, pedals, but it makes very, very minimal difference. No difference, uh, no difference. Okay. And the second thing, oh, by the way, you guys can use the strap on the sides of the rear railing where I put just now. I didn't use it most of the time. I, I would use when I'm traveling a little bit further. I didn't use it today because I know it's gonna be just one stop. Okay, and after which I actually took a car, have successfully put in the boot of the car. So JMOVE LC can be transported in regular cars, okay? The third transport, the third thing that we have managed, successfully managed to do 
is to enter the train. The width, the, sorry, the length of GMOFLC is just nice. 400 meters, 400 millimeters. On the end of our, it's up to every station's decision whether to allow you to enter to enter this using this e-bike. In the next video, join me on a journey to collect JI Move MC from JI Move's new shop located in Geylang. Alright, so since you'll be riding the MC back, let's go to the bus stop. We'll take the bus to Tampines, bus in the change. Then we'll take the train to our unit station. We'll go and collect our MC. And we'll probably take the train back instead of riding it all the way from our unit. Other than grab food vlogging and delivery hacks, from time to time I do reviews as well. Why don't you share with me on something that you'd like me to review next and you should watch the other vehicles that I've reviewed on the top right or check out one of my most updated playlists that I've selected for you. Fellow riders, see you on the streets!